Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Danny James and on this channel I make content around music video editing, different styles and tricks that you can incorporate into your overall workflow. In this video, we shall be talking about this insane TikTok transition that I haven't really seen around. It hasn't been explored by many creators yet, so I think this will be an ideal transition to incorporate into your next projects. If you're new here, kindly consider subscribing, give this video a like and without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'll quickly show you where I got this inspiration from. It's from a video by Dusty Lokan. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I've also muted the sound. I want you to see this transition. It happens for a very short time. Yeah, you can see it really happens so fast. So I'll rewind it and also play it at 0.5x. Also, it's a really dope video. So I'm sure I'll cover a few transitions and effects from this video. So I'd recommend for you to check it out. Okay, right about this time, you can see this uh, screen recording of TikTok flies into the frame. And then you can see it starts scrolling and then they zoom into one of the videos and that video happens to be the next video in the transition. So I find it really cool and useful. We are on Adobe After Effects and I can show you where I actually redid this and prepped this tutorial for you. You can see we have this TikTok coming in and then scrolls down and then we zoom into this video which we have Migos right in. So the first step of this tutorial, you'd need to use your phone and maybe take a screen recording. I just went to TikTok and searched Wu Gang. As you can see right here on my footage panel. I'll enlarge it. So this is just a screen recording from my Samsung mobile. You can take your time. You also want to make sure you settle on a section whereby there is a video which stays still. Okay, right here. And then I let the phone sit there for a second. It's not mandatory, but you can just do this so that you can make sure that you have a good selection. So the next step you need to do, you need to import that footage into your Adobe After Effects. I'll create a new composition. Let's name this TikTok transition uh, we can have the duration at about 10 seconds that's okay just create that one i'll bring our main video so i'll just copy it from the one which i chose oh, gang and then i'll bring it here so we have this video playing and then i will bring the next video which we shall be transitioning into it's the one which has migos so we have the first clip right here in red and the second clip which has migos in yellow all right, so what you want to do, you want to bring your TikTok animation between these two clips. I'll import my clip, it's right here. You can pick an in and out here to here and then just drag it. Also set it between these two clips, that's, that's more advisable. I'll just push this clip a little bit so that I can see the entire frame. On this TikTok recording screen, we need to move it into the frame. Or what I'll do on this TikTok screen record, I'll hit S. I'll hold shift and then hit R so that I also get rotation and I'll also hit P and then we shall keyframe all of them. Now you can move this manually so I'll bring it out of frame. I will also rotate it a bit so that it's not perfectly lined up and then maybe I can also scale it up a bit and then you can move maybe to the one second mark, bring it on your screen, let me just scroll in. bring it on your screen maybe after a few seconds, drop it down and then also rotate it. And then you can also maybe scale down. So let's see what this looks like. So what I'll ideally do, I'll squeeze these keyframes to speed up the movement. Yeah, you can see what that little detail did bringing it on this position and then rotating it back so that it lines up properly and then scaling it back to sort of a normal size. So from here you can do all sorts of things. You can also move it a bit here, rotate it maybe anti-clockwise. Just have fun with it generally. Let's see how it scrolls now. Yeah, that looks okay. We shall come up to this point. And then this point is whereby we're going to bring this new video. At this very point, I'm going to hit Control Shift D to split the layer right on this frame. Right click on it, go to time and then freeze frame. I'll also extend the time frame of this clip which is underneath so that we don't really get confused. Let me play it back so that you can really follow what's happening.
again, I shall hide the visibility of the second video so that you can really focus on what's happening right now. I'll also squeeze it a bit to the right and then I'll have some more space for this freeze frame. Just so that we don't get confused, I'll make sure to label these layers. So the first layer which is underneath the first clip, we've named it Wugen. And on the second one, which is a TikTok recording, let's name it Moving TikTok Screen Recording. So Screen Recording SR. And then at the very end, the one which we have a freeze frame, we shall name it TikTok freeze frame. And it comes like this and settles right there, which is again what we're going for. You see, we want to bring our clip into this section. So you shall need to create a negative mask on this moving TikTok screen recording and you shall have to track that mask. So what do I mean? Uh, right about this moment here, we shall need to keyframe that mask. Again, uh, let's split this layer because we have moved it around and if we create a mask, it will affect the mask while it's moving. So we shall need to control shift D and now we have the second part which we shall track. And then let's rename this layer uh, moving TikTok with mask. Now let's track this mask. So I shall come where it begins. Uh, we, you can hide the visibility of the other layers so that you don't get confused. Uh, let me hide every other layer. So we are working on this layer which is right in between, which is a moving TikTok mask. Bring our pen tool and let's come anywhere right here. Okay, zoom into it. You can also render it at full so that you can see all the details and then you shall create a mask around this. So I won't really cover how to do your masking. I have this in other videos, so just make sure to check it out on my channel. Just try to line it up and then I'll go to the very end, drop it down and then connect it back. Uh, let me see if I've missed anything like that. Now just hit M and then put the mask to none so that you can see all, all the details. Add a keyframe for mask path and then now we can move forward or backwards to track this mask. You can use your page up and page down keys. So I'll page up to go back and then I'll make sure to highlight on all these anchor points and drop them just down. Again, I'll use page up. Maybe I'll go about two frames now and then do the same thing, drag them down. Also make sure when you're doing this process not to be on your pen tool but your selection tool. That way you're able to highlight your anchor points and move them all at once. So I'll go right behind again, put it right here. And then once again, drop it. And the last one, it means on this first frame, it needs to be completely un unseen. So I'll go back to where we was and then let's track it going forward. So I'll go page down twice, drag it up. Again, page down twice, drag it up. If you are running out of room, you can highlight these two, these two anchor points and drop them down. So I'll go two frames. Okay, nothing changes right here. Two frames, nothing is changing. Okay, so right here, I'll add a keyframe so that it stays on the same position. Then for the next frame, drag it up. I'll highlight all of them because I had previously highlighted the two which were right beneath. Okay, that looks good. And then let's go another two frames and the entire, okay, you see? I don't want to move just one anchor point, but all four of them, bring it here. And then I'll drop these two anchor points right here. And then two frames. And then one frame, move these two. And then move the two anchor points right above here. And then the last frame, I'll just move it once again. Yep. 
yeah also i would advise you not to skip two keyframes go frame by frame just so that you can have all the details covered okay and then right here where the mask was on none we shall put it on subtract that way we are able to see through the clip so you can see this aligns perfectly with what we are looking for and you can see beneath it's the same video which is playing and so remember on this space right here is whereby we are going to put the new clip and then transition through it using that freeze frame which is right here let me enable this your screen recording will come in fly around and all about and then it will settle about right here before it settles we have a negative mask and through this mask we can see the clip which is underneath and you're going to make sure that the next clip is the one which shows here and then we shall use this one to transition now everything seems okay now on this second part here we shall also have to create a mask around it but we shall not need to put keyframes because it's a freeze frame so let's do that quickly i'll get the pen tool zoom right into it and do the same thing just render it on full so that you can see all the details Okay, it's the mask must be on add, so put it on subtract or you can invert it. So I'm used to putting it on subtracts, that way I'm able to understand what's happening better. Alright, so now that we've prepared everything, it's time to bring in the second clip. I'll drag it below so that it's being so that it's right above the Wu Gang clip, the one which was in red. So I'll make sure I'm with my selection tool and I'll bring it right here. So it will play through the entire screen right where we, we, we did some keyframes for the moving mask, which is not what we want. We want this clip to just play inside that little box. Just make sure you know what part you're trying to transition. Right before this freeze frame, we shall hit Control Shift D on this, on this next clip, Control Shift D, and then now we have this section of the video which is right underneath the moving mask so we shall need to add a mask for it and make sure that it follows the same time so the advantage with this mask is that it doesn't have to be really strict uh, let me just show you what happens we need this second clip uh, we need the original clip to keep playing in the background and this clip which has migos to play inside this tiktok so we shall add a mask okay we can go somewhere in the middle right like right here let's drag our pen tool and then let's do the same thing you can just cover these sides it doesn't have to to be as precise as the other one just make sure it goes around that section okay so you can see it will only play inside this one because we have a negative mask here. Now we shall need to add some keyframes for this mask. Add a keyframe. Now let's go behind two keyframes. I'm using page up and then I'll go back to my selection tool, highlight all of these, drop it down. Okay, so let's look at it. So you can see the Migos video continues playing on that TikTok, which is exactly what you want. If you've gotten up to here, you're almost finishing this transition. So from this point, as you can observe, our original, our first clip is right here. Even if it goes on up to here, it doesn't play because this other clip which has Migos has precedence over it. It is above it. So you can either cut it or you can leave it as it is i'll leave it as it is so and then you can go on so let me collapse every clip and then i'll make sure to also label this so that you can follow up so we shall name this migos performance with mask now on the last step we shall add keyframes on this freeze frame so that it zooms in and the clip can go on hit s on your keyboard once you hit s on the keyboard you shall observe that there are keyframes for scaling and it's because we split this layer earlier before. So what you shall do right here, you can add a keyframe manually here and then we can begin scaling in. And now if I try to increase the scaling, it will go like this. Now, 
I'll undo that, hit Ctrl Z. So I want the perspective of the scaling to happen uh, from the middle. Because right now if we add the scaling, it's scaling from this anchor point. I'll hit Ctrl Z again. Just come and get your anchor point tool. Move this anchor point into the middle. Go back to your selection tool. And now we shall begin scaling in. And we shall bump out that value. And then I'll squeeze this keyframe a bit. So now if I play it back, you can see the entire effect or the transition. That's what, that's how it happens. You can put this keyframe a little bit closer to this so that you can have the transitioning happening faster if you want. And then we need to clean up this effect. Just highlight on your two keyframes, put them on easy ease. And then just one more thing to polish this effect, you need to add motion blur. Because you have this TikTok flying around and moving around, it needs to have natural movement. So we shall add motion blur on this one and also add it on, on this one, just in case, and, and also that one. So you shall add motion blur on this one, especially for this one because it's going to scale in, we need to have that blur. You can see on this screen, if I disable it, you can see it's so normal. Yeah, so that's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was simple enough to follow along. In case you got lost anywhere, you can always rewind it. You can also download it, put it on your mobile phone, watch it while you are traveling or when you're doing your normal chores. And the thing about this concept is just try to understand it first before coming to apply it. And that way it will make so much sense when you're trying to do it. In case you have any questions, suggestions, or anything to add, just leave it on the comment box down below, and I'm happy to interact with you guys. My name is Danny James. See you in the next one. Cheers.